What's going on guys? Tonight we are moving this goat house that I've been trying to get rid of or moved. And my buddy is going to come over with his skid steer to give me a hand. In fact, here he comes now. So I bet that yanks that bobcat around like no one's business. I've had to do some work to her. Oh yeah, what happened? You know, you never, you never touched the brakes or anything like that. So I'm like, yeah, I no. better check the brakes. Well, I'm glad I did. Were they bad? Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't do all of them. Put all that together, and then I started turning it around, testing it out. I'm like, this is bad. And then it started like heating up like crazy, smelling like all burnt oil or burnt brakes. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. Well, uh, the caliper was stuck. So I'd buy a caliper, and in order to get a caliper, I had to buy a whole the whole bracket and everything, anyways. So I had to buy a whole brand new another bracket. I'm like Jesus, but it actually worked pretty good. Well, now she's now, she's, now there's no uncertainties. Yeah, no, yeah, and I was like, you know, they feel okay, but God, I just rather be safer than sorry. I just want to I want to pick it up, and drag it up here and then push it right between those two trees. Pretty simple. Oh, okay. Good. Just drive your bobcat down there and I'll, we'll show you. I don't know if you want to use your chain or not. To do is we're going to move this big shack we're going to put it right between those two trees and we're going to use it for our brooder and we're going to use it for our meat birds and then in the future we're going to use it as our new hen house and then the goats they're going to get the cabin so that's what it looks like all cleaned out it's a far cry from jason's tiny home you got that goober right there Stand back, that thing's liable to break. Pretty heavy. I told you she was heavy. I told you she was heavy. Yeah. I don't feel so bad about my tractor not being able to pick it up. Jason helped me unload it. Basically, we tied it off with the UTV and I drove the trailer out from underneath of it and it crashed down right in the spot it's sitting right now. <laughs> and it hasn't moved in a year and a half.
Oh my god, that's that's what that looks like. I haven't seen that view in a year. <laughs> tear your stuff up because they like playing in the skid loader I got never here. <laughs> can't believe he's tearing my yard up he just, I can't stop him how do you stop a guy in a skid loader hello ladies <laughs> <laughs> wow well we got that coop moved my buddy's finishing tearing up my stuff Actually, he's fixing it, but there's more to come on this chicken coop. It's going to be really awesome. Actually, we're going to use it as a meat bird brooder for now. And then when we're done with meat birds, we're going to convert that into our new chicken coop after we're done with the meat birds. So it's going to be pretty interesting. I got a screen door for it. We're going to run power to it. It's going to be awesome. So I appreciate you guys watching. It was pretty entertaining. Quick video. Just tell you, know, let you guys know what we're doing around here. But I tell you what, things are moving along on the slope. We're getting a lot of things done. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hit that subscribe button and the like. And I'll see you on the next episode of Sunny Slope Homestead.